Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark and I'm your host. And on today's how-to, we're going to discuss over center or motion control valves. And helping us out is Jeff Robertson. He is with Eaton. They make hydraulic motion and control products. Jeff, welcome to the show, man. Hi. How are you? Great. Good okay. to be here. What have we got right here in front of us? Today we're going to review the function of motion control valves. The operation of these valves can be divided into three basic functions. Load holding, load control, and load safety. Or what diapers do for first-time parents. I love it. <laughs> we just go, okay, I'm just kidding here. All right, what are we going to do? Well, before we start with the technical aspects, it's good to understand why motion control is so crucial. Okay. Imagine a guy in a cherry picker working in electrical cables 30 feet in the air. Suddenly a hose fails. What stops him from falling to the ground or into other live cables? Well, you know, honestly, that's a potentially life-threatening situation. Right, and that's why these valves are so important in any load holding system. It may be a different machine, like a crane or a forklift. These machines need to hold the load steady and lower heavy objects under close control. Over center valves gives you peace of mind and help you to work the machine safely and efficiently. All right, what's next? I'm feeling good so far. <laughs> Look at the section through the valve and understand what's going on. As you can see, the valve is very simple in construction. A direct acting relief valve and a free flow check valve. The secret to its function is the pilot area. This is where the pressure can be used to open the valve at a lower pressure than the working pressure. The difference between the relief valve area and the pilot area is also known as the pilot ratio. Okay, now how can such a simple valve perform all of these very important functions, Jeff? It's simple, really, provided the valve is set correctly. The relief valve should be set to around 1.3 times the maximum load induced pressure. This is to make sure that the valve is always closed when there is load on the cylinder. Notice too that the poppet forms a seal on the check portion of the valve. This limits leakage to less than five drops per minute. So that's the way it performs its load holding function. Well, that's pretty excellent. But what about load control? Now that's got to be a lot more complicated, yes? A little, but not that difficult to understand. Imagine a truck mounted crane with a heavy load creating induced pressure in the lift cylinder. As we have already discussed, the over center valve will hold the boom in place. To lower the load, the operator will divert flow to the rod side of the cylinder. This will create a pressure that is applied to the pilot port of the over center valve. When the pressure reaches the over center valve, it will begin to open, allowing the cylinder to move. This opening is gradual due to the spring's tension behind the relief valve. The higher the rate of the spring behind the relief valve, the higher the pilot pressure faster the movement. If the load tries to accelerate, then the pilot pressure will reduce and the valve will bring the load back under control. Simple, really. You know what? So the load can never force the cylinder to go faster than the operator wants it to. I'm that's, getting it. That's absolutely correct. The rate at which the valve opens depends on the pilot ratio, so a lower pilot ratio will give you more control. You're right. It is not that complicated. Okay, what about the important load safety function? This is easy now that we understand the basic concept of the valve. If we get a hose failure, the last thing we want is for the load to fall uncontrolled. Remember, the load may be one of your best friends. Yeah, that could be pretty nasty. Now, you don't have to worry. Remember, we have set the valve 1.3 times the maximum load induced pressure. So providing your friend has not put on too many pounds, he will be pretty safe. As soon as the operator removes the lowering flow, the pilot pressure will disappear and the over center valve will close. You know, it's incredible that a valve so simple can do all those functions. I mean, it's nice to know that the machines we see every day have such simple but important components fitted. Thanks so much, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thanks. Jeff Robertson, he is with Eaton. And if you had any questions on anything that you saw here today, please contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be able to help you out. And hopefully this will help you with your practical application. And if you're working uh, with any of these valves, or, you know, like you said, maybe a cherry picker, a crane, or a forklift, PPE, personal protective equipment. Always make sure you're wearing the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. And also make sure to check out other how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching today.